At this stage I'm going to turn my attention back to the concept design that we were making in Publisher and I'm going to go through and give myself an idea of what I want this page to look like as the colors go in and the dividers or the div tags are actually separated out into their right size. I'm going to go through and I've decided I'm going to make the background an orange color. I'm going to make the content a yellowish color. I'm going to separate the navigation by making it a slightly different yellow color and I'm going to make the footer a gray color. Now at the moment this isn't looking very nice at all but it is just an indication of the colors that I want. It will look better when it's finished. From here I need to go back into my page and I need to create a new tab. So I'm going to go File, New, and I'm going to call it Layout.css. And I've got a Layout CSS tab and my index tab. You'll notice at the moment I've got these other tabs here. These are the more finished versions that I'm working back and forth on. All you will need is your index and a new page that you've created that is layout.css. At this stage we're ready to start stylizing the content, adding feature, color features, writing features, borders, boundaries, all of those things to our web page. I've now got my index.html file created and my layout.css file. What I need to do is make sure I save my layout.css file in the same folder that the index.html is in. So I will go right click, save as, and it'll ask me do I want to save it in Web Design 1? Yes I do. If I look in there, I've now got index.html and its corresponding layout.css file. What I want to do now is go into my CSS file, layout.css, and I want to start putting some information in as to what I want the body of that text to look like. I want the background color to be this code here. I want the font that I'm using in here to be this. I want the font size small. I want no margin and no padding. I will go through and explain what these things are a little bit later. The first one I do want to explain now is background color. How did I know hash DE7C29 is to be my color? Well, what I did is I went into Google and I had typed in internet colors or something similar. And there's a whole pile of pages that come up. And the first one I chose was just HTML colors. And you'll see this w3schools.com. This is a pattern that's going to start repeating, and we'll see that back on our index.html. We are making a web page that accurately reflects the protocols and procedures prescribed by W3 schools. They sort of have the right to explain or lay out how HTML code is written. If I go down, I can see my basic colors with the color hex key that's there. There's 16 million different colors that we can use and if you look on the internet you will find all of these hexadecimal codes lots of them have different colors here's my orange one is somewhere down here I've chosen it after having a little bit of a think through of what I want and I have placed it into my body code that is very simple I have told the index page body I want the body and the body contains all of my divs. So I want the background which is this orange color here that is going to be the body, the whole body of the page to be that orange color. If I look at my CSS and I save that page and I go back into my index and I save that as well. I can go into my web design folder and look at my index.html and nothing has happened. Now there's a reason nothing has happened.
The reason the web page failed to show any of that changed color with all that information I put in the body is that there is no clear link between my index.html and the layout.css page that we've made. So what I need to do is tell this index.html page very clearly to look for a layout.css file. So I'm going to paste in this code which goes straight inside the header underneath the title page or underneath the title line code. And all it says is there is a relative link in this folder. What you need to do is look for a style sheet. The reference that it is going to look up is layout.css and you are going to apply style one and the media type you're going to use is screen. You don't really need to worry too much about style one and screen. All it says, all it really means is this is the number one style sheet that we're looking at and it's ready to display on your screen on the page. If I save that document now and we go look in our web design folder and I open up index.html, I'm confident that this page is now going to appear orange. And it has. It's now time for me to stylize the rest of my divs inside this HTML sheet. Before I do that, I need to go back to my concept design and clarify one little problem. This concept design looks slightly different in that the top of this here is yellow. And I omitted to put that in before because I had drawn this concept design early. If we take our parts off this document, we can see how our page is made up of these three div containers, well, four div containers. Our body tag was the orange tag that covered the whole background. I then put in a content page. I want to put in a div for navigation, and I want to put in a div for the footer. Therefore, if I take this apart again, you can see I've stylized, or I will stylize, the container to be completely yellow. I will put a content div in that is the same color. I will then put in on top of the container, I'll put a navigation div in, and on top of that, to cap it all off, I will put a footer in. And that's how the divs work, how they build up to be a whole page. In the very end, this bit here is not going to be yellow because I'm going to put an image on top of it with writing to be the title of our web page.